Okay, so let's go a little bit further on this concept of what is in your control. And what we want to challenge you to do is be really clear about the things that are in your control 100% of the time. You might not be good at it, but you've got the capacity to control it and the things that matter to you, that are concerns to you. Let's get really clear what those are. That second thing that we're talking about, we're going to list them here. These are things that are out of my control, but they matter. They're important and they're, they get in the way sometimes of daily living, but they're really important. This here, we want to get really clear about what's 100% in your control. Okay, so I want to hear from you guys. What do we have? Let's start with the outer list first. What are things that matter to you, but are not 100% under your control? Decisions that my kids make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what other people think. Yeah. Decisions of kids. What others think. Keep going. Keep going. Weather. Weather, yeah. Yeah, good. Keep going. Mmm. Is this where you're stuck? We could, we could spend a lot of time filling this up. It's Keep because going. saying out of my control is, is, uh, is some part of that that feels like a resignation, which is well, kind of a weird thing. You know what is. I mean? I'm like, okay, well, so I thought, like, I first thought, oh, the political climate, yeah, especially in the U.S. right yeah. now, and I'm thinking about that, and then I think, well, there's some things I can do. Is that totally out of my control? Or? Well, the, the phrase here is 100%. 100%. So only the things that you can 100% control yeah. make it in here. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So political climate. Yeah. Does it matter? Is it important? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Does it influence a lot? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you control it 100%? No. 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 So when you start paying attention to these things out here, you put yourself out of control. You're deleveraging yourself in the way that you train your mind and operate from you know, the most authentic place of being you. And it, it, and it is anxiety provoking as well. So keep going. What are some other things? Traffic. Economy. Traffic. Okay, good. What up? What'd you say? Economy. Economy. Good. Keep going. When we said what others think is deeper than that, it's like how are they feeling, their emotions, their energy level. We can control our energy levels. We can't control theirs, right? Others' emotions. Right? Others, keep going. Energy level. Isn't, that, that, isn't this good? So if someone's agitated or irritated or grumpy or, or hear that their energy is just off or slow or too high, that can, if, we're, if we're not careful, that can suck us right into responding to that in a way where it feels more like we're just reacting, right? We haven't been grounded enough to pivot, to work with it, to deal with it, to embrace it, to build on it. We get sucked in because we haven't figured out this stuff yet on how to master what's in here. Any others come up to mind for these concerns out here? I guess traffic and stuff like that, weather is time related. Um, there's a time factor of others and things around you that you can't. What does that mean? Your, your time? Time others have, right? You can't control that, like for you. Like my boss, for example, Oh, uh, like schedule and time? Yeah, okay, good. Let's do that. Let's just put that up there. Time, schedule demands. Good. Brilliant. Let's invest here. What are the things that are 100% under your control? That you have the capacity is really the phrase here. The capacity to control 100% of the time. What are those? Our decisions. Okay, so let's go, let's go thoughts. Thoughts, yeah. Our behaviors. Behaviors. Your craft. Okay. What else? Your nutrition. Your nutrition, sure. We can get this in here. Your knowledge. Um, knowledge? What you learn. Good. Who do you choose to relate with and to re build relationship with? Relationships. And this is like uh, your, your, your choices. Yeah. Because there's people that we don't have relationships Family with. Family like and to have relationship, people right? at work. There's and your choices. Yeah, Beautiful. a lot of times people are put in your life. That... So there's, there's really not many more because I'm going to build these into a couple buckets for you, right? 100% of the time we have the capacity to control our thoughts. You might not be good at them. I might not be good at it, but they are within my control. 
And here's the litmus test for that. If it's not me that's in control of my thoughts, who is? Right? Yeah, okay. Behaviors. 100% of the time, I'm responsible for my behavior. You're responsible for your behavior. Okay, good. And then we've got, let's go, oh wait, one that didn't make it in here is attitude. And then effort. Okay, so your attitude and your effort. So attitude and effort are kind of like the, the stitching or the glue that, that binds thoughts and behaviors. And if we got really fancy, we could take all, all four of these here and then really leave us with one word. Okay. One hundred percent of the time, you have the capacity to control you, and this is what we've learned from people that are extraordinary at their craft, even masterful, is that there's so much that they're not in control of that they over-index. They pay an incredible amount of time into what is one hundred percent under their control. And that puts them in a position to be able to work towards high performance, to work towards mastery. Brilliant. So we, what we want you to do is play with this concept just a little bit in your life. And how much time are you spending out here paying attention to these, being over-influenced by them? Because these are the things here that we want to spend time with, right? And this is what this course is about, training your mind so that you can have incredible thoughts, so that those thoughts and behaviors can be eloquently aligned with who you are and who you're becoming. And we want to give you a way to train this, to start your day, to give yourself the best chance to control these things at a really high level. We call it the morning mindset training. It's 90 seconds. There's four parts to it. So the first part is you take one breath. Before you get out of bed, before you pull your sheets off, you just take one full breath. That's it. Start in your stomach, big breath up into your back, and then enjoy the exhale. Now, if you wanted to do more than one, that's great. It just extends the process just a little bit longer. One breath, one thought of gratitude. And when you have that thought of gratitude, be in it. It's not like a check the box, like I'm grateful for milk, I'm grateful for my refrigerator, I'm grateful for my legs or my eyes or the person that um, I'm, I'm next to or whatever. It's not, it's not like you're checking the box. Pick one and really get connected to what you're grateful for. If you want to do another, wonderful. So it's one breath, one thought of gratitude, and one intention. And intention is a word that conjures up how I want to experience the day. Not what I want to do, but how I want to be throughout the course of the day. And the last is once you've done those three, take off your sheets, put your feet on the ground, and just feel your feet on the ground. Just be there for a moment. So what we're working to challenge you to do is have one breath, one thought of gratitude, one intention, and then just be right where your feet are. That's a great way to start the day. We have to do the work now. We have to do that work and train our mind so that when we are met with a challenge or a test or a difficult moment, maybe some of these trigger it. Maybe this con the conversations here trigger it, that we're able to be authentically ourselves in any environment. And that's the true mark of somebody that's living a high-performance life that is pursuing the best version of themselves.